Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here at Blue Coats Academy. So, uh, Biden is scrambling right now to find oil. So that way we could bring down, he could bring down the oil prices here at home. Because as you know, it's already over $128 a barrel. Soon to be $200 a barrel if it hasn't reached that yet. But ever since he cut off all Russian oil, money, everything, and removed them from SWIFT, our national reserves are low if he's running a Venezuela to scramble to find more oil. He's already he's even planning a trip to the UAE to talk to the uh, to talk to them about possibly supplying oil. Guys, the bigger picture's not just not looking good. You got an American president or president that wants to run around like a buffoon asking all these people for help. Let's see how many of them step up and say, Yeah, no problem, we'll help you out. Or let's see how many of them say, Go F yourself. Biden. Who knows? But uh, we'll see here in the days to come. There's a lot of shortages going on, going around. Um, and one thing that sucks, and here's the unfortunate truth, but like 80 to 95 percent of every every product you can you ever handled in your life is is made with some form of petroleum, um, which comes from oil. There's oil in literally everything: plastics. Uh, other rubbers and different stuff like that. So without that, you're going to see a lot happen in the supply chain. A lot of things are not going to be available anymore. Uh, is there time to correct it? Yes, but very little. Um, so they're, I guess they're trying, they're, he's going to scramble and try to figure out how the hell he's going to pull his, pull it, pull us out of his mess. You know, Guys, this is the Hegelian dialectic. We provide, you know, one side provides the problem, comes up with the same, the same party comes up with the solution. And then when things look bad, they swoop in and save the day by blaming. And meanwhile, the ones that cause the problem, okay, so Biden caused the problem. And while causing the problem, blamed it on Republicans. Okay, so now he's going to scramble to go and try and find oil and energy for us so it wouldn't tank our economy too. Um, well, at the same time, blaming some other bullshit. Blaming Russia, Russia, Russia. Meanwhile, this is all his fault. Uh, and then, you know, and we'll see what the uh, heads of state from all these other countries are. I mean, look at Venezuela. Venezuela. Our country's treated there just like shit. And they don't like us. So why would they help us? Same thing with the e the UAE. I mean, what have we really done for them? They they were smart enough to run their own country, and they're extremely profit. They're extremely rich. You know, Dubai. You got cops driving Lamborghinis. Like it's insane how how wealthy that society is. And. I can tell you that I don't think these countries are going to be like, sure, we'll help you. I think everybody's really waiting just to give America the middle finger. So, I, and then this is just personal opinion, folks. This is just what I think is coming. Um, as far as all the stats that I labeled out, that's true. Every bit of it. Um. As far as Biden running around looking for oil, everything being made of oil, yeah, the whole shit has properties of, of oil in it, you know, from from plastic holsters to ashtrays to rubber for shoes, rubber for tires, everything has to do with oil, you know, and like I said, Biden's running around like a chicken without a head trying to go to all these people looking for oil. Yeah, good luck with that, Mr. Green New Deal. Um... So be prepared. Stock up on the shit you need. You know, uh, now depending on where you're at in the country will dictate what kind of supply shortages you have. Because not no one place has the same shortages. Everything is dependent on, you know, it, it varies on location. Like I can tell you, 
in North Carolina, we do have a shortage on, we have a shortage on cat food, canned cat food. And I know that's a lot of places in the country as well. Uh, there is shortages in chemicals that are needed for, you know, treating lumber. Uh, there is shortages of certain, you know, other types of foods, you know, uh, much like everywhere else. But, and I'm not trying to doom and gloom you. I'm just trying to prepare you, let you know what's coming. So, guys, stock your shit up. Get prepared. Gas is going to be really bloody expensive. So unless you guys got a moped, I would advise doing something like that. I know it's not so glamorous, but you know what? It saves you a hell of a lot more money on gas. And you get like, what, 100 miles to the gallon? Gas prices being so freaking high, I'd rather pay $10 for a gallon than $90 to fill a tank or $400 or $300 or whatever the price would be. Um, but I don't know. There's a lot going on. All I can say is just try to mitigate it the best you can by stocking up on the things you need. So that way you can perpetuate normalcy for the people that you love. As well as yourself. So with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. I wish you all the great, the best. I'll see you on the next one. Like, subscribe, share, guys. And leave your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking. You know, tell me what kind of shortages you guys are experiencing. I want to know it all. Gas prices, shortages, from what you see in your day-to-day -day life. You know, shout out. You know, shout me out, man. Talk to me. I'd love to know. All right, guys. You take care and I'll have a great day.